People all around Northeast Florida try to figure out what they need to do ahead of the storm to prepare. One St. John's County man is putting his knowledge to the test. The Nocatee local has compiled quite the to do list over his four decades of living here in Florida, and he's sharing what to do if anyone needs some help. So on your side, Zach Wilcox has that story for us. He's joining us now from the Intracoastal. Zach, a busy day out there today, I would imagine. Yeah, Desi, just got a little quieter here in the past few minutes, but uh, we just saw four or five boats go by. Lots of boaters trying to take advantage of this near perfect weather. Not hardly a cloud in the sky today. Trying to take advantage of that before, of course, the weather turns heading into this week. And you mentioned that man up in Nocatee, just up the road here a little bit, who uh, he's taking advantage of this gorgeous weather to get uh, get to work on that long to do list. Ryan Brennis works at a hospital here in the area, so he can't evacuate during storms and he's been in Florida his entire life. So he's uh, had to hunker down through quite a few hurricanes over the years and along the way he's just put a little tip here, tip there and compiled quite a list, 1800 words. One could call that a short novella. Well, he posted that list on next door so that folks in the area can see what he's been working with here and get their own ideas for how to prep for this storm here. So uh, he's hoping that folks will react to that 500 or so reactions here in the past uh, couple of days. And he's hoping that between his tips and the tips he's been able to put on that list, it'll be uh, a lot to take into account. It's interesting to see what other people have done and from their own experiences, right? And, and a lot of these things we may have thought of, but there's just there's so many different things that you can do um, to, to stay safe and to help others. And, and some of these ideas are, are little things and others are, are kind of big. All right, so a couple of Ryan's favorite tips that he's heard from other folks this year is that the dishwasher is a watertight thing. So you can put uh, all kinds of uh, documents in there and they will stay dry. Also, he said another tip, if you freeze a bottle of water and you put a coin on top, if it sinks to the bottom in the freezer, that way you know if your power has gone out at any point and come back on. In Nocatee, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.